Alright guys, what's up? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And yes, I know this is the Master Chief Collection, so don't click away if it wasn't for the possible better mint, if that's even a word, of Call of Duty, I would not be making this video in the first place. So, as you guys know, or may not know, this game, I wanted to show you in, in it's not gameplay whatsoever, I wanted to show you in a few ways that Call of Duty could take advantage of this, and especially with the recent updates that they've done to the Master Chief Collection and then some. Granted, it's been years and years of progress while they're developing games that 343 actually did this, but for them to do this, in my opinion, they're setting the ultimate example, and I really don't see why there's any reason why Call of Duty can't take advantage of this. And they could even take it a step further and make a game free to play. And I could tell you right off the bat, and I'm going to give you some examples here, for the, especially for those of you that are not aware, that if Call of Duty takes a similar approach to this, and even with free to play, and if they do a correct and fair microtransaction system, similar to like, let's say, oh, I don't know, uh, World War II, for instance, or Infinite Warfare, or Modern Warfare Remastered, for instance, to where you can actually grind for weapons, and at the same time, you can actually unlock stuff by grinding and, and crafting stuff. Um, I think we can reach the best of both worlds and stuff like that. And they could, they could do multiple types of versions of the system because you guys know if there is going to be something free to play that Activision releases, you know, it's going to be loaded with microtransactions, but I do believe simultaneously that it can be done right. So without further ado, let me get you into the nitty gritty of this. I'm going to go into here and I am going to go straight into settings because there's two parts to this that I want you guys to really see. I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but I want you to see this. So, for settings, obviously, I mean, everything here, like, I'm, I'm going to start here with controls. Now, obviously, you can configure which gamepad you have, whether you have mouse and keyboard. They recently did input-based matchmaking in their latest patch, which came out a few days ago, which is great. But they have all sorts of different ways. I mean, they've got the different games that you could choose in terms of how you want your, uh, your controller, mouse and keyboard to work, thumb layout, you name it. It's in here, okay? I'm just going to scroll down a little bit so you can see everything. If you need to pause, by all means, do so dead zones, everything, you, you name it, right? Okay, now, when we go into video over here, obviously, not much to see over here, so I'm just gonna move on to the next one. Audio, not much to see here. Gameplay, now, if you have Xbox Series X or S, or a PC, obviously, they've also added in an FOV slider, and you can pay, uh, play up to 120 frames per second. Uh, granted, I think in PC, you could probably do more, but I'm not entirely sure on that, but at least you could play at 120 frames per second. And obviously, you could see here, you know, an enemy player name color. They have all sorts of different stuff for, you name it. They, they have it in here. Look at all these configurations. Now, when we go into network, as you can see, you can even choose your region. This is something that they did very recently in the patch. And you choose your network here. You got your relays, input-based matchmaking, enabled or disabled, platform-based matchmaking, enabled or disabled. And you get to choose your region. You can check or uncheck any of this stuff. And you can basically choose your region of which you play. Again, something Call of Duty could do. Um, granted, they could even take it a step further to where you can actually rent or, you know, buy a server or whatnot. I don't know. Or whatever the deal is. So, I mean, and then obviously you got your languages and squad only. But from a gameplay perspective, this is the nitty gritty right here. Okay. Now check this out. Check this out. Like, let's say I was going to go into a multiplayer game, right? Which I'm not going to do, but... Now, this is social is basically pubs, competitive is competitive, and then obviously you have your customs. So socials. Now, check this out. You could pre-custom your games. or First of all, you can choose the game size. If you want 4v4, 8-player FFA, 12-player FFA, 8v8, big team battle, you name it, you could do it. Now, watch this. You go down here, you could pick like a multitude or just one of the Halo games that have been released. Imagine if they did this with the Black Ops series. Like, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. Imagine that, or with the Infinity Ward series, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. I know that there's plenty of fans of each one, okay? Even even Ghosts, for instance. I mean, Ghosts had a few things about it that was very good as well. Actually, Ghosts had a... I've said it time and time again on this channel. If Ghosts just changed a couple of basic things, it could have been even better than Black Ops 2, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, uh, as you can see here, you could choose any of these. You can select or unselect, and you can basically get matched in a playlist. And not only that, that's not enough. You can actually choose what you want. You want Precision Slayer, or you want Auto Slayer with automatics, Frag and Bomb, specific game modes that you could play over here on this playlist, and you can check each one of them on or off or however you want to do it. And when it sets, and again, you could go to a game preset. You could choose Reach CE Anniversary, any, Slayer, in other words, just slaying. Um, 
objective based game modes, action sack, SWAT, which is basically almost like the Halo version of hardcore, snipers, which is something that Call of Duty has been requesting ever since I think before Modern Warfare 3 came out. A sniper's dedicated playlist. Can you imagine that shit? And then, of course, you got your doubles, you got your Rumble Pit, which is, I believe, yeah, an eight player FFA, Infection. They have their own Infection Big Team Battle, which is basically Halo was a version of Ground War, Custom. And then you could choose and you can go into a game. Why can't they do this with a free to play version that is going to be cross platform, cross gen play if they wanted to as well, with no skill based matchmaking because they'd have tons of ways to get money off of whatever they give us? And let's, let's be frank. Even us, even we, the good players, wouldn't mind. I'm sure we wouldn't mind if we're getting a Call of Duty game in the style of this, okay, to where you have your Treyarch collection or you have your Infinity Ward collection of the classic games, right? Of the original trilogy from both sides, right? Or the original quadrilogy, whatever. Of the classic games, okay? From the Xbox 360 generation, for instance. Or even into the Xbox One generation in this game. Well, guess what? I don't think any of us would have a problem dropping a few bucks on a few microtransactions here and there just for shits and giggles since we're already getting the game for free and for those of us that simply can't afford it well we got a game for free and we can grind the hell out of it there's a whole bunch of things that call of duty has done over the years that has made it successful grinding is one of those things we're not just talking camos we're talking prestige we're talking calling cards we're talking 100 percenting the game this game here halo has everything from campaign unlocks we're not just talking achievements but for all sorts of different things for campaign and as you can see season eight and all that kind of stuff i mean i don't want to take up too much of your time in this one because i know i've already lost so many of you because i'm simply talking about halo and just because you're seeing halo on your screen but this is something that they could easily do with the call of duty collection if they wanted to like or a call of duty trilogy or whatever you want to call it they could easily do it and the fact that they've added all this stuff in to me personally is something that is gold to me. And there's no skill-based matchmaking in this game unless you're playing um, competitive, obviously. So this is real skill-based matchmaking. And I think Halo 3, by default, if I'm not mistaken, is skill-based matchmaking because they have levels 1 through 50. 50 being the highest of, of skill and then anything below that being lower and lower and lower. So, um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about this one, guys. Master Chief Collection, granted, over the years has come a long way, and they just implemented these games onto PC, cross-platform, uh, input-based matchmaking. So, uh, and it's only continuing to get better, and the fact that they're taking advantage of this while they're simultaneously developing Halo Infinite and doing that as well, just goes to show you how much they care about the community. I know a lot of people hate on 343 or whatnot, but I'm sure that if Activision decided to all of a sudden stop what they were doing, for whatever reason, and said, you know what, maybe we can make more money out of this, and we're actually going to give some freedom to all our developers. I bet you Treyarch or Infinity Ward, yes, and I did say that right, Infinity Ward and even Sledgehammer Games would, would participate in something like this. And quite frankly, Sledgehammer Games is, ru is uh, rumored to be making a, um, a free-to-play Call of Duty uh, sometime in the near future, either next year or the year after that. So hopefully they do something like this, and if they do, I think it's going to be great. I just hope that the microtransaction system doesn't kill it, uh, you know, it, well, kill it in terms of uh, making the game worse. Uh, in terms of killing it and doing it right, sure, that's the kind of killing we want. And of course, we don't want the skill-based matchmaking to be all over the freaking place. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know down in the comments section what you think. Do you guys agree to, to, this, uh, to this concept? Do you disagree? Uh, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments section what your opinions are. Thank you very much on all the support on the videos, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next stream and on the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Jack, signing off.